Chelsea here. First things first, sorry it's been so long. The last couple months have been full speed ahead. Lots of amazing stories to share, but um, those will come in the weeks and months to come. I am going to do my very best to post every single Friday from here on out. Really excited to get to sharing consistently. Second thing, I need to issue a recall on my staging video. <laughs> Had a lot of fun shooting that thing, but I learned not too long afterwards that staging like that, especially in a house made of mostly wood with wood floors and wood walls, will lead to a fire in your home. So do not stage like that unless you're interested in setting your home on fire. Sorry about that, I'm a beginner, but uh, hope you enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> Today, I uh, wanted to share with you guys some crazy ass shiznat that I've been learning. Holy cow! During my moving and cleansing my belongings um, process, where I gave away a lot of the stuff that I owned, I started uh, questioning some of the things, all of these things actually, that I was seeing in my uh, medicine cabinet, in my shower around my home, under my sinks, it's all poison. <laughs> I mean, I was vaguely aware that um, manufacturers, especially with these big companies, didn't really care much about us, but I didn't know that be up to 80% of personal care items and household cleaners contain at least one known cancer-causing carcinogen and at least one sexual reproductive disruptor. Yeah, it's pretty freaking crazy. Big brands like uh, Cascade, Tide, Dial, Windex, Pledge, you name it, they're putting chemicals in there because they're cheaper than using real ingredients and they preserve their product longer so that it can sit on the shelves at Walmart, sit on the shelves at their fifth at their own production facilities and then sit on your shelf. And these chemicals are really, really, really dangerous and bad for our health. So much so that just last month in September, the uh, FDA actually banned triclosan, which is a preservative that's been used for many, many years, a staple preservative in brands like Colgate, Crest, even Paul Mitchell has used triclosan, Dove Soap, Pine Sol. These companies are getting away with this because they're saying that the amounts of these chemicals is too small to affect us. Yeah, maybe the amount if you're only exposed to one of these products every day, but we're all exposed to 20, 30, 40 of these throughout the day. What makes things worse is misleading labeling like all-purpose green cleaner. These are also loaded with chemicals that are extremely bad for our health. I spent somewhere around probably one to 300 hours now reading about this stuff because the more I read, the more I was in shock. So the more I would read and the more shock I was in. And trust me folks, it is not looking good. So, uh, oh, candles as well. Um, a lot of studies show that household candles, the fragrance in them, when you burn a candle, the fragrance that you're smelling is all derived from chemicals. So when we light candles in our homes, we're literally, um, it's like having an exhaust pipe. It's worse actually than having an exhaust pipe right there in your home and you're breathing that in and taking that into your system. So. After um, my fun study, I did a lot of research and I actually did find a safe, affordable solution and it's pretty amazing. I'm really excited. So if you guys are interested and or you want a little bit more information on some of the stuff that I found, please email me. My email address is below. Also, if there's any random questions you have or any future videos you want me to make, please also feel free to email me or comment below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. 
And uh, I love you. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Talk to you soon. Mwah.